In our previous video, we compared the Mi Box TV with the Fire TV stick. And ever since, I've been wondering if there's any useful apps that made the Mi Box TV quite special. Like, you know, locking your secret stash on your Android TV, or even playing retro games like Mario or Contra. And no, we're not going to look at those apps that are already out there and quite popular, like Kodi or Puffin TV and etc. You know it, we know it, everyone knows it. It would be redundant. But let's see some of those hidden gems, shall we? The Mi Box works on Android TV OS and one of the biggest pros about Android TV is that you can sideload any app that works on your phone as long as it has practical use on your TV. I mean, nobody uses WhatsApp on an Android TV just for the sake of it, right? Sideloading apps can be done via various methods, which we'll talk about later on, but accessing sideload apps can be a problem sometimes. Some devices such as the Shield and Mi Box TV restrict sideloaded apps by not displaying them. To bypass this, you can use the ATV launcher, so head towards Play Store and download ATV launcher. Install it and set it to default launcher. Once that's done, you will be able to access sideloaded apps and see them. Nobody wants to appear nasty in public. That's why incognito and clear history exists. But sadly, if I install NSFW apps on my TV, there's no way to lock it. This AppLock application makes it easy to lock apps on your Android TV. Install the app via Apto TV and open it. Once installed, input the type of lock you want to apply, like pin or pattern. Ensure the mouse is attached to your Mi Box, as this app is only accessible via a mouse. Once in, add the security pin code and select the apps you want to lock. Once done, select the start option and enable the required accessibility services. And then you're good to go. So TeamViewer recently launched its new app on the Android TV, which lets you connect your Android TV to your computer and record screen, capture screenshots and send files to your Android TV from your computer. But sadly, there's no remote access feature at all. I tried to install the TeamViewer Android on my Mi Box S. And guess what? It did work. I was able to access my computer from my Android TV box with practically no lag. Check it out. If you're just lounging around watching movies on Netflix and just browsing or surfing, notifications can be quite useful. Notifications for Android TV lets you view the notifications from your smartphone to the big screen. Download the notification app from the Play Store on both your Android TV and your smartphone. And on your smartphone, start the service and you will be able to see the notifications on your Android TV. This one is one of the biggest reasons I love Android TV, gaming. I love playing on my PS4, but when the nostalgia bites, I prefer pairing my PS4 controller to the Mi Box to play retro games. RetroArc is one such app that lets you do that. Just download the RetroArc app from the Play Store and set it up. I recommend updating assets for optimum quality interface. Once that's done, download the ROMs, just do a quick Google search and you'll find your favorite ROM online. I'm going with Mario. Download suitable course to run the games. In our case, we're going with the SNES based course. So once that's done, send you the ROMs to the Mi Box with the help of a thumb drive and select load content. Choose your desired game and then start playing.
Moving on. Don't already know by now, yes, you can install a VPN app on the Mi Box. Let me show you what it does. So right now, if I go to Netflix and search The Office, you see that it's not available in my country. Now go back to SmartDNS Proxy VPN and enable it. You might have to try several servers and find the best one. And if you turn it on, head back to Netflix, search again. And there you go. The Office, my friend, one of the best shows ever. And that's not all. Smart DNS Proxy lets you watch geo-restricted content from anywhere. Remember I told you something about sideloading earlier? Well, sideloading is easy when you have a device like Mi Box, which has a USB port. But pushing APKs every time is a tedious task. That's why we have custom app stores like Apto TV. It not only has TV optimized apps, but it also has third party apps which you can sideload onto your TV, which are not present on Google Play Store for Android TV. If you want to browse files on your Android TV, then I suggest using the File Commander app. Apart from the basic exploring and copy paste stuff, File Commander lets you even connect to your cloud services such as Google Drive and Dropbox. That way you can access content directly from the cloud. Okay, enough slouching on the couch, it's time to get in shape. If you've used home exercise apps on your Android smartphone, then you would know how hard it is to maintain the form during a workout while having to look at a small screen. Well, 365 Body Workout solves the problem. You can use your TV as a guide to help you work out efficiently. It has a list of tailored workout routines to help you get in shape, and you can use it all year around. Playing retro games via RetroArch can be an acquired taste because not everyone is into pixel games. But what's universally accepted is that new games with AAA graphics that we get on PC or PS4. With this app, Steam Link, you can play games via your Steam account on your big screen. Just launch Steam app on your desktop or laptop on the same Wi-Fi as the Mi Box. Connect a Bluetooth controller to the Mi Box. Pair the laptop to the TV and you're all set to play high-end games on your TV. So now that you know some really cool apps for Mi Box TV, let me know which one you really liked or if there's something that we missed out in the comment section below. I'm also checking out some really cool Mi Box games, so if you're keen on that, subscribe to us and then click on that notification bell so you'll get notified if we put out a video on that. I mean, we probably will, so you probably have to. I'm Vamzi, thanks for watching and maybe watch a video or two to show up here and there, you know how YouTube works. See you the next one.